Hi, in this video, I'd like to talk to you about all of the things that you can build using the C-sharp language. My name is Shad Sluter, and I teach software development and computer science at Grand Canyon University. So I work with a lot of languages in many classes and talk to a lot of people that are doing software development. So these are competitors such as Java and Python and C++ and PHP and Swift and Kotlin and Go and lots of languages to pick from. And so what I'd like to do is to highlight the vast array of things that you can do with the C Sharp language, not just at a toy level, but at a professional level. First of all, as you can see, this is kind of a commercial for Microsoft. I, as myself, do not get any money for this, but feel that this is a great place to start. It's fairly easy to learn C Sharp. So Visual Studio gives you the ability to create applications that are graphical user interface or console apps right off the bat, and then after a while you can grow into the more advanced things that we'll explore here. So the job that you're probably looking for if you are in software development is to become an application developer, a web app developer, and you're going to want to work with a full stack. And so C Sharp is a really good choice if you want to build this. So at the classes that I teach, we teach N-layer design, which teaches us the front end separated from the back end using a variety of different databases. We learn controllers, the MVC framework. Anyway, all of this stuff here is a pretty complex thing for beginners, but C Sharp can take you there. So it's not maybe the only choice, and it's certainly not the uh, most dominant, but it certainly is a very, very good option when it comes to getting jobs. A lot of the postings are in my area, at least in Phoenix, Arizona, are for people who are .NET developers and they're doing web applications. So you're probably going to have to have a REST API somewhere in your portfolio if you want to be hired. So you should build somebody's REST app and C Sharp's a great way to do it. So your REST app is probably going to be the back end and the front end might be in JavaScript or something else. But C Sharp can even do that if you want to use Blazor and create a full front to back uh, client side, server side choice, C Sharp has got you covered. So you could theoretically not even learn JavaScript and still be able to use a front and back uh, client and server kind of an architecture. So C Sharp is really quite a universal choice if it comes to app development. Now you can of course build desktop applications or Windows apps. As a matter of fact, the most current version of .NET is a 6.0 and sure enough, WinForms is still supported for, I don't know, we're going on decades now. And uh, I like this platform because of its simplicity. Students are able to pick it up quickly. Now, why would you want to build a desktop app and why would you choose C Sharp? Well, the desktop app is pretty good when it comes to talking to hardware. So most people are choosing web apps and mobile apps for their platform if they're trying to process data. But you think of apps such as Microsoft Excel or Adobe Photoshop or some graphing calculators or anything that controls like a robot or a hardware or a thermostat, you're gonna have to be close to the hardware and a desktop application is a good choice for that. So not only is it easier to build them, but sometimes it's necessary. And so C Sharp is a really good tool for building desktop applications. Also, you can use C Sharp with mobile. So most people think of Android or iOS as your two choices. And so if you're in the iOS world, you learn the Swift language and Android has traditionally been with Java and now focuses in on Kotlin as a second choice or Flutter or some other React kind of a React native thing. Or if you want, you can use C Sharp and the Xamarin tool and you can build one code base and it's not some kind of an interpreted code, it's really compiled to run on native code in either of these platforms. And so C Sharp is the one language that you can take as a web developer and then become a mobile developer. So if you are trying to maximize the options with the languages that you learn, well, C Sharp's got you covered with desktop, with mobile, and with uh, websites. Is that it? No, wait, there's more. So you know that Xbox is a Microsoft product. It's a great gaming platform. And if you want to build 3D games, Unity is one of the most popular choices. 
And so C Sharp is the default language that you would use if you're building a Unity game. So gaming, C Sharp's the choice. How about virtual reality or augmented reality? So you know that Facebook has some pretty big investments and some pretty big plants here, but actually Microsoft currently has the HoloLens 2, which is arguably a better experience. At least I'm speaking from my personal experience. So I don't teach the classes on virtual reality or augmented reality, but uh, the equipment that I've tried on that the other professors are using uh, shows me that Microsoft really does have a superior product when it comes to clarity and ease of use and the, the development tools that go with it. And so Microsoft's got a really tough product to beat in their HoloLens. And guess what? C Sharp is their language of choice there. How about the IoT, so the Internet of Things? So we're talking about Raspberry Pis and we're talking about little gadgets that can measure the temperature, look at light, control robots, open your garage door, uh, you know, all the automation things that are out there. So these little embedded things, can you develop them in, guess what? C Sharp, again, yes. So C++ might be the choice of many of the uh, tutorials you'll see, but you can do the whole thing in C Sharp, which means you don't have to learn another language. How about machine learning and AI? So believe it or not, Microsoft makes this really, really easy. Uh, once more, this is not my uh, wheelhouse. This is not my expertise. Um, I know something about it, but um, there's people, of course, beyond that. But ML.net is something that I can give to my students. And with um, some knowledge, they can improve their existing processes and applications thanks to the libraries that Microsoft provides. And so we might not be experts on inventing machine learning things, but we can certainly use the tools that they have given to us. How about console apps? You, of course, you can build a console app with Microsoft and C Sharp. Why would you want to? Why would you want to build this thing right here? Well, because if you want to become a C Sharp developer, the first step that you need to do is to learn the language, C Sharp. So the basics and the fundamentals, you gotta start somewhere. And a console app is a great way to just have the language in front of you and not be distracted by graphical user interfaces or websites or containers or any kind of deployment. You're just running code. So most people that I know in uh, the school that I teach uh, learn Python and Java and C Sharp as fundamental starting points, as great places to begin. And C Sharp is just as good as any of the others. So those are the things that you can build with C Sharp. Did I miss any? Are there other applications that you would use? Uh, do you have some arguments for other languages that can do all of these things and do them just as well or better? Let me know. If you would like to know tutorials on how to build some of these things, such as building websites or apps, then of course, check the links below in my channel. And all of this stuff here is stuff that you can learn and you're on your own time. And um, I'll even provide you great instruction, just like you were here with me in class. So thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.